Hey guys, I'm back. Um, got my little helper here beside me. And that took a long time to load, but it's up, so you can be watching part one. Um, this is, you know, pretty much dry. Um, now what we're going to do is do the next step that I would do. Still a little tacky. This is watered down gesso because there was just a little bit left in this um, tub and I just added water to it. It's just the um, Michaels brand. If I can get it open. I do like my grandmother. Pound it on the floor, see if that'll help. There we go. Broke the seal enough. And I'm just going to go over the entire thing with this watered down gesso. And I'm just slathering it on. I'm not um, being real careful about anything. I'm just trying to get this covered with a light coat of gesso. See, you can still see some of the napkin through the gesso because it's been watered down. Now I am going to use the heat tool, um, so Tesla might decide to leave us because he doesn't like the way it sounds. No, nope, he's laying here. I guess he wants to be with me more than he's worried about the heat gun bothering me. Let me go around the camera thing here so I'll quit bumping it. And I've got a selection of paints over here. Um, I just tried to grab some paints that were in the napkin so I can pull those colors back to the front some. And I'm just going to apply paint randomly. And um, I'm not going to be real concerned about creating a pattern or any of that. We're just adding the color. air conditioner is going to kick on. It's been getting hotter as the day progresses and um, we've got some thunder clouds moving in that are very tall so I'm expecting another violent 10 or 15 minute storm. But these are the colors that I chose. I'm not too sure about that green now that I'm looking at it. It's really watery at the bottom. It's really old paint. I think I got this in a giveaway from somebody at one point or another. We'll see if it'll work. So I'm just gonna put a little paint on, spread it around, maybe use the heat gun in between colors, and that's it. We're just gonna put a little paint here and there. And I'm not real concerned about how thick or thin it is. So I mainly just want to just squish some color on. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and, while I've got pink on the brush, I'm not even going to rinse this paintbrush, y'all. I'm just, I'm put, throwing paint down. Okay, we're going to use a lighter pink now. If I can get it open. Just glob a little bit around. And we'll spread it here and there. Trying not to cover too much of my original pink. Trying to fill in the areas that were left blank, put it that way. I just call this playing in the paint and just have fun. Pretend you're a kid and you're like four years old and you're in your mom's paints. That's how I look at this part of this. There's no planning to it in my brain at all. I just spread it out. So now we've got the pink on there. I'm just going to set the brush aside. I'll clean the brush when I'm done with all of the paint. I just want to get this dry just a little bit so it doesn't blend a lot with the next color I'm going to throw on here. And you can see how the, the tissue and the um, doilies created a lot of texture on this. Good enough, good enough. All right, and let's see. Let's throw some bright yellow down on here. And of course I grab one that's not open. I probably already have one of this open. Most of this is um, Craft Smart or I've got some Delta, I got some Americana, Apple Barrel, and some Martha Stewart here. I'll just plop some yellow on here. Boy, that's yellow too. And if you wanted to leave a lot of really good texture, you can just draw lines with your paint and then leave it alone. Don't even spread it out if you want to try that. And now we're just focusing on making sure that all the little sections are covered up with some paint of some sort. I've got all these other yellows I'm going to add, so... Some card might end up being yellow and some might end up being more of the pink. You never know. But this is ending up looking like a sunset to me. I don't know about y'all. So that'll that'll go good with what I have in mind for the cards and stuff I'm planning to make with this. Now we'll just grab another yellow. This is an Americana well, lemon color. We'll just blop it here and there. And see, now you can even tell that there was colors on those um, pieces of, uh, you know, the stuff I had punched out. I promise y'all, this is gonna be really cool. when we get done. And believe me, it'll be looking unique to that. I think this yellow and this yellow are the same. Nope, that was a bright yellow. This is just a yellow, period. And see, now you can't even see the napkins. There are some dark places where the green from the napkin is coming up through. Let's put some of this over here. Tesla's watching me like he thinks I've lost my mind. Did mama lose her mind, Tesla? He's mommy playing crazy. He actually likes it when I get down on the floor like this to do stuff. 
because then he can sit right next to me. Most of the time when I'm doing something like this, he is laying right up against one of my legs. But he's feeling a little off today, I think, so. Pretty cool looking background, huh? Let's dry it a little bit and we'll add the pale, pale yellow and some of this maize color. And after we do this, we're going to do some stamping on top of the paint once it's dry. And um, I'll go ahead and upload this second video while that is um, setting up. So this is drying the rest of the way. And that video is loading. Now, if you want to, um, let me see if I can grab this piece of paper that's over here. Yeah, this is one I've just like put paint on to pick up. I'm going to just put some paint on here. And I have this tub of um, various things to add texture. I've got a flip flop and um, I've got these here. Um, pieces of PVC pipe in different sizes. The measuring cups are. Those are for mixing stuff. But then I've got like that. This is makes fun texture. We'll put that there. We'll use the flip flop. I've got the sponge I got from the dollar store. We'll go ahead and put the pieces of PVC down here. I even got a cork to add dots. You can use your bigger um, stamps. That one says boo, I'm not gonna use that, but you could use your bigger ones. You can even use wadded up tissue, pick paint up and glop it on. So we're gonna, we're gonna layer some more of this. Um, I've got a pale yellow, I've got a green, and then I've got the maize color. So I think I'm gonna come in with the green first. I'll have to get these paint brushes washed eventually, but. The screen is just not even open yet. Now Tesla's moved to where he can watch me better. And he's he's watching every move I make. So we're gonna put some paint down. Ooh, that was cool. Not. Well, I'm on this old floor, so it'll be all right. It'll clean right up. So we're just gonna add some more texture. This is just that Dollar Tree um, sponge thing. Add some really cool texture. And if you wanted to also, if you want that napkin to be more prominent again, get another napkin and layer it on top of the color. I might do that and um, cut out some of the um, some of the flowers and the birds and stuff and just kind of put them on here with some Mod Podge, um, plain Mod Podge this time I think, if I can get that one open. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna layer this up. So we've used that. I don't even clean those because it's just to add texture and if I add a, another color in, I'm okay with that. That is just my have fun, make a background tub of stuff. Okay, the, this paint is slightly thicker so I might use this and just plop it down in the paint and then down on there, down on there. I don't know if it's even showing up because it is darker, just a darker yellow. To me, this is all about having fun and making a mess. And I'm okay with that. This is really fun to do with kids outside. 
as long as you don't have a parent that's uptight. <laughs> I like kids to have fun. Um, when I'm working with smaller children, I'll just get some of Scott's old shirts, turn them so that they button down the back of the kid, roll the sleeves up, and they are covered from wrist to shoulder and their entire front because his shirts are long. Just an FYI. Now, we've used the green, we've got this light green, I mean not green, <laughs> yellow, and I'm gonna do something. I've got this strip here that I punched a row of ovals out. I'm gonna use it as a stencil. So I'm going to fold my piece of scrap paper here and we'll just use this brush that we had gesso on. Just put some of that down onto that scratch paper. I'm going to take this pale, pale yellow from Martha Stewart. Now I'm just going to load my sponge up on one side like that. And I'm going to use this and just Bounce this on. Now I have stencils, you know, real stencils that I've bought. But sometimes just using something that's a scrap, it would probably end up in the trash as a stencil, gives you some really cool effects. Pull that up. See, you got some circles. I'll go this way with it this time. Load back up with some more paint. And we'll go back in. And you don't want to brush it because that'll push it up under the edge of this. And this is just paper, so get some more paint. again. Move it over here maybe. I can't cross my legs anymore. It's kind of disappointing. These inflamed tendon situation I have going is a pain in the neck. It's getting old business is the birds. For the birds. My mother-in-law used to tell me, you're going to regret sitting on the floor to do all that stuff because one day you won't be able to. And you know what? I have to say she's right. I'm getting to a point where I really shouldn't be sitting on the floor, but I just feel more creative down on the floor. I don't know if it makes me feel like I'm four or, <laughs> or what. I just like to sit on the floor and I hate wearing shoes. That's something else. I don't like shoes at all. As soon as I can get my feet to a bare state, the better. Might be the Indian blood in me. I don't know what it is. Something in my genetics. And after we've used this as a stencil, we could apply it to a background later on. You know, you can just use it and use it and use it. All different purposes until it's into a final project. No stopping us. Okay. I'm going to let this one go off this edge over here a little bit. Maybe this way here. It's getting kind of soggy. That's the... That's the downside of using your paper from your punches. The paper does get soggy almost before you finish using it. So now we've added some ovals. Well, let's see. I've still got some yellow paint. Whoops, the flip-flop wants in on the action, but I'm not ready to use that. I've got this one with butterflies. So maybe we'll just, in the middle here, stick some of these butterflies down, a couple of them here. We'll stick some butterflies there. And I'm just going to use the two that are down here at this end. Maybe down here. Stick a butterfly there. Maybe one over here. Okay. 
I'm trying to do this quickly so I don't have these videos like hours long on y'all. Because I enjoy the longer videos occasionally, but most of the time I don't have that much time to just sit that long. I tell you when a nice long video comes in handy is when I can watch it on the laptop in my craft room because then I can just have it playing while I'm working. There we go. I'm going to leave that like that as far as stencils go, but this flip-flop wants in on this action. So hang on, let's get a different color. I'm trying to remember the colors in there. Um, well, there's purple in a sunset. Let's use some purple. And it, some of that paint looks purple and the purple will go with the yellow real good. So I'm just gonna glob a little of the purple paint out. And I'm gonna take this flip-flop. I might use this end this time and just step it in the paint and then glob it out on your scrap paper here. And then when you come over, Tesla's looking at me like, Mom, you're gonna be in so much trouble. One cool background coming up. See that flip-flop gives it almost a brick pattern here and there. All right, I'm gonna leave this and um, let it dry while this one uploads and then we'll come back and I'll get some of my um, larger uh, rubber stamps out and some, what kind of ink should we use? Um, I don't want to pitch that. Uh, we'll get, we'll use stays on, I guess, in uh, black. So I'll be back. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hmm.